Hey, I'm Brent Ayler along with John Sherman. We're sitting at the Sims booth at the 2014 iCast show. And right now, we're talking about sun protection. This is something that is a big deal out there. For, for how much we're on the water, you have to be protected from the elements. You have to protect yourself for, from the sun. And you know, Sims has a full line of sun protection from gloves, shirts, you know, hats to you know, net gators, we have everything. So we'll talk a little bit about how to protect yourself from the sun. Yeah, key components that I think when we're talking about our Sims gear is A, it's designed for fishermen. It's gonna move with the body. We're not building outdoor or mountain climbing gear. Uh, we're building fishing specific gear. So all of our products will be fishing specific. One thing you'll see across our line is uh, some technology called Core 3. And Core 3 is gonna give you a wicking characteristics, pulling that moisture. It's gonna give you at least a UPF rating, sun protective factor rating of 30. A lot of our pieces, like the one Brent's wearing here, our Solar Flex, has a UPF rating of 50, so complete sun protection. Um, and then you're gonna find anti-odor characteristics too. When we're out there all day long, perspiring in warm climates, that's, that's gonna be for important sure. for your fishing partner on board. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, and uh, you know, I, I look at, uh, when I first started fishing, how much I was out in the sun and, and wouldn't even fish with a shirt on, period. And, and I always felt like short sleeve shirt or no shirt was was actually uh, cooler yeah. than it would be wearing a long sleeve shirt. Well now, I've completely changed everything I do. Every time I'm out in the sun right now, I'm always wearing the long sleeve solar flex. And not only for sun protection, but I honestly believe that it keeps you cooler than if you, you know, didn't even have a shirt on. No, there's like, yeah, no question about it. A lot of anglers are still wearing t-shirts out there. Yes. A standard t-shirt has a UPF rating of nine. So even though you might not be getting sunburned directly underneath your t-shirt, that harmful UV rays are penetrating through that garment and actually uh, uh, harming your skin at that point. Skin sure. cancer, melanoma is the most common type of cancer out there. Uh, one out of every four Americans will, will be inflicted with uh, skin cancer disease so I think we're all becoming more aware of how to protect ourselves from that so true true and, and, and I know that uh, another thing that, that a lot of people don't think about is you're wearing this you're wearing a hat but we don't really think about our neck and our ears and, and our face so you think that with having a, a hat on that it's actually gonna block that Sun well you're actually getting a uh, it's almost the ricochet the Sun coming down and it bounces off the water you're getting Sun on your face even though you're, you're kind of shielded so uh, a neck gaiter is a big deal out there on the water and, and, and for me, I actually wear a neck gaiter down uh, just around my neck for a good part of the day. When that sun starts getting low on the water and it starts shining underneath that hat more is when I'll actually pull it up and over my face. And the nice thing about this gaiter is that it actually has this, a, a few little holes right here that help you breathe. So when you have this thing over your face, it doesn't fog up your sunglasses and that's a big deal because when you're out there, you have this on. You have your sunglasses on and you're breathing, your glasses will fog up. By having that on there, it won't do that. Yeah, a lot of gators are just straight tubes that pull up over your face. We actually build our gator anatomically correct. So there's a spot, obviously, where you breathe through. We have additional coverage over the nose, over your ears, and you can pull it up nice and high to lock that cap on when you're racing across the lake. Yet it's still long enough that you don't get that sun exposure on the back of your neck. So I think those are key components. We really worked on designing the gator to fit and maximize protection on your face. For sure, and, and the thing I like about it, like, like John was saying, is that it actually, it's kind of designed to where it's longer in the front, it's longer in the back, and it's shorter, so it actually fits over my shoulders, and I can have it, I can tuck it underneath my shirt on the front and the back, and it doesn't bunch up anywhere because it, it's, it's designed to go around my chest, shoulder, and back. So it fits perfect, doesn't bunch up, like you said, I can pull it up over my face and everything fits nice and tight. Let's talk about your shirt. This is Sim's best-selling shirt. This is our Solar Flex shirt. Has that UPF rating of 50 plus. It's super lightweight, super comfortable. Um, what, are, what are your highlights on this guy? It, you know, it, it's uh, comfort and mobility. Um, you know, keeping me cool out there. You put this thing on, and I can wear it all day long, and it, and it feels awesome out there. I don't ever uh, feel like it's it's kind of constricting me or. Uh, you know, I can't really feel that heat being bottled up inside this shirt. So that's the one thing that, that helps with this, is having that on and just feeling like you're not wearing a shirt. Yeah, that's what helps cool. out there when it's really, really hot. So the Solar Flex is an unbelievable shirt. This is something that I wear day in and day out. Uh, 
you know, throughout, all, and I, I spend 150, 180 days on the water a year. And if I'm not completely layered in, in the cold weather gear, I'm wearing solar clothes. Awesome. I really like this piece. Even in those cooler climates, like when we're fishing spring and fall, I'll wear this as my base layer. True. And this can be my, you know, next to skin offering. And then I'll throw some, um, you know, an insulation layer over the top of that. So it doubles on that environment as well. And, and that's a great point. Is it in the, the summertime or like you said, spring or fall, when it's cold in the mornings, and then it's hot in the afternoons, I will use this as a base layer. I do that a lot. And the nice thing about having this along with a pro dry setup is that it could be really hot, but the pro dry is not really a huge bulky jacket. So I'll wear a solar flex even in the summertime, or wear the solar flex and put that pro dry on in the mornings even in the summertime when it's hot. And I, that'll be my layer that I shut off and I have this underneath. Let's talk about your gloves. I mean, that's one of the most overlooked, and I, I have to admit, there's times where I forget to bring my gloves, and, and, and as we age, you can start really seeing the wear and tear on your hands. Um, well, this is our Solar Flex glove. It's a fantastic piece. Um, what, what, what's, what's your highlights on this piece? For sure, the, the, the one thing that people don't really think about is, is, is it, you know, are your hands like that? And wearing gloves to help protect your hands from the sun. Now. What the flip side of what people do is they'll put sunblock on their on their hands. Well, for me, when I think about that, we we actually think that sunblock. I mean, they've done studies that sunblock is actually a repellent for fish. They do not like the scent of sunblock. So I won't actually put sunblock on my hands. I will wear the gloves instead. So I will wear this to where it protects my hands from the sun. I still have the you know the actual feeling in my fingers because they're, they're a fingerless glove. So they're very mobile very easy to feel and it blocks the sun and I can use all day long in the sun and not have to worry about getting those sunspots that are in Yeah, absolutely. One of the coolest features that, you, that goes overlooked on this piece is these finger loops. So when you want to pull these gloves off, you literally just pull them off like so. So no longer are we biting, chewing, and clawing our ways out of our, uh, out of our sun gloves there. So a really cool feature. And then another thing that really uh, is well thought out here is they snap together. Um, Gloves are like socks. We tend to lose them left and right, and so now you can keep them together. Throw them in your uh, one of your bags or in underneath the, your console, and you're totally protected. All of these exciting products we just talked about are available at Tackle Warehouse right now.